Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story is about the effects of drugs and drink and the choices you make when you decide to drive. A man was jailed on the 29th of February for a high speed chase with police in the Stoke and Trent area in April of 2020. The father of four was jailed at Stoke and Trent Crown Court and the police said that he put lives at risk on various occasions. The footage was released showing the moment that the driver who was high on cocaine drove the wrong way along a dual carriageway during a dramatic 40 minute police chase. Evan Vernal, 30 years old, was captured on dash cam footage, leading officers on a high speed chase on the streets of Stoke on Trent. He narrowly avoided collisions with oncoming traffic as he travelled the wrong way down a one way down the A50 in a bid to evade catcher. The police tried to stop Vernal after he was seen speeding in a blue VW Golf on King Street in the Fenton area of the city. Police followed him for 40 minutes during which time he went the wrong way round roundabouts, ran through red lights and hit speeds of 70 miles an hour. Still failing to stop. Speeds are now 70 miles an hour. Tivoli Road uh, at the roundabout, not one, not one, not two, not two, not three, not three. Not four, not four, it's going all the way round and it's Bentley. a left left into Bentley Estate. No other vehicles on the road, no pedestrians. I'm still happy with the risk to be low and it's appropriate to continue. Coming up to the crossroads now and it's a red ATS, stand by. <laughs> Through the red ATS. One officer can be heard in the footage saying abort after Vernal began driving in the opposite direction along the dual carriageway. The reckless driver was eventually brought to a halt when they burst his tyres with a stinger. Yeah, he's on your um, the road, road, still alongside, uh, he's got oncoming traffic signal vehicle, vehicle in uh, lane off, one, yeah. just stand by. And it caused the vehicle to crash and he fled on foot and he was then wrestled to the ground in a residential street before officers recovered a large quantity of drugs and around three grand in cash from the car. Vernal from Stone in Staffordshire pleaded guilty to drug driving, failing to stop and other offences related to the incident. He has now been sentenced for 14 months behind bars and disqualified from driving for three years and seven months. A second man who was arrested at the scene for drug offences has been released under investigation and PC Tom Cordell from Staffordshire Road Policing Unit said Vernal's actions put members of the public at risk and he showed that he was willing to do whatever he could to avoid police. Thanks to the partnership with the National Air Service and the five officers that came to the response, we were able to detain him and avoid any further incidents. So I do hope that this guy sorts his life out when he comes back and is the best dad that he can be for his kids because drugs can take you on a downward spiral in life very, very quick. And I really do want to hear what people have to say on that story. And in this next story from Liverpool, a man has been jailed after he pushed a knife into a blind man's stomach, kneed him in the face and demanded his watch. James Donnelly targeted the victim on a Liverpool train, heading towards the city centre in front of other passengers. The 23-year-old from Garston approached the man on board the train just two days after Christmas, punched him in the face and told him to give him his watch. When the victim, aged 56, refused... Donnelly pushed the 8-inch knife into his stomach, punched him in the face and told him that he would kill him. The man again resisted even though he feared for his life and Donnelly put the knife back in his waistband and returned to his seat. He left the train at Liverpool Central where he immediately discarded the knife and was apprehended by station staff after being arrested by British Transport Police. At Liverpool Crown Court on the 29th of January, Donnelly from Stormont Road pled guilty to attempt robbery and possession of 
of a bladed article. He was jailed for five years for the knife point attack. According to British Transport Police, the victim suffered significant trauma from the attack that included anxiety, nightmares and flashbacks. So I hope the victim in that case makes a full psychological recovery and I wish him all the best in the future. So I really appreciate you joining me for this brief update and we'll be back again in a minute with some more news. Peace.